Hey, hey, how's it going? Those opposite signs do pretty well for you? Okay. We have a, a chapter titled Simplify More... Di We're not going to do that. No, difficult notations? No, we ain't doing that. No, no. Gone. In fact, you know what? There we go. Simplifying more enjoyable notations. Okay, that's what we're doing today. Okay, let's go to an oldie first, all right? So let's add these numbers here. Let's go left to right if you want. Or you can clump together the pluses and then the, clump the minuses together and just do one. You know what? That's what I'm going to do, all right? I'm going to get my negative 3 together with my negative 5, and that'll give me negative 8. Then I'm going to go get my positive 2 and my positive 6, and that'll give me positive 8, and that'll give me 0. There we go, okay? Now these notations look complicated, but they're not. Just what you need to do is make sure, like on those opposite signs we did last time, keep those in mind and be very clear and very deliberate and very careful the way you do this, okay? This will get you out of a lot of trouble if you just very carefully, you know, I wouldn't even bother necessarily copying these problems down from the book. Just do them in, kind of in the book and like trying to copy as, as little as possible unless it's your next step or something. In other words, pretend this is your book problem. This is what I would do. You ready? Okay. So this I'd go, okay, this is the opposite of positive 4. That'll be negative 4. And this is the opposite of negative 5. That's going to be positive 5. Then plus 5, just plus 5. Okay. Then the opposite of negative 3 will be positive 3. And then we're going to add a negative 6. That's, oh, there's an odd number of negatives. So that's going to be a minus. And boom, there we go. That's it. Okay. And again, don't get all caught up in going, wait, is this minus a negative 5? Or is this the opposite of negative 5? And the answer again is yes. It's both of those. Okay. If you subtract 5, you go like a positive 5, you'll go to the left on a number line. So logically, if you subtract negative 5, you'll go the opposite way on a number line. But don't worry about that. Just get these exactly, boom, copied right below. So we can clump the uh, positives together here. There's a 5, there's a 5, there's a 3. That's what, 13? Okay. I got a negative 4 plus a negative 6. That gives me negative 10. So 13 minus 10, 3. Boom, you're done. That's it. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Uh, and, of course, if you want to copy this down, I would do it in my notes, but if not, it's okay. It's in your book, all right? But in my actual problem set, I would leave this alone. I would copy down in my notes, or in my, you know, when I'm doing the problem set, I would do it, uh, like, just the next step, okay? So the opposite of negative 3 is 3. Now, look at this. Ooh, brackets. <gasps> Who cares? Just count the negative, the number of negatives. The opposite of the opposite of 2 is 2. You're going to add, okay, how many, you know, opposite signs are there? 2. Which means this is negative 3. The opposite of negative 3 is 3. There you go. That's all there is to it. So what is that, 8? Good enough. Okay. All right, try the next one. You can copy this down or you can just do this on your paper. So, all right, let's take a look. The opposite of negative 4 is 4. Um, there's one opposite sign. It's odd, so that'll be negative 2. Adding, in other words, adding a negative 2 on a number line is the same thing as going to the left on a number line, as subtracting 2 on a number line, right? Okay, so there's 1, 2, 3 opposite signs that go along with this 6, so it'll be 2. There we go. So 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 6, that's one of those, you know, we got a, a positive there and a negative there. So we take the 6 minus 2 is 4, and then we go, okay, this one is farther away from, ab, uh, from 0, so there we go, negative 4 is your answer. Dollar is 2. Okay, try one more. All right, there is one opposite sign, so that's going to be a negative 4. There are two opposite signs, positive 5. In other words, what's the opposite of negative 5? And it's 5, okay? Plus 5, plus 5, that was easy. Okay, the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. And you're going to add a negative 6. There is one, an odd number of negatives, so negative 6. There you go. I'd clump all the positives together again. Look at this. You, 13 there, and then negative 4 and negative 6. Wait a minute, that looks strangely familiar. 13 minus 10. Hmm. Maybe I did that twice. Okay. <laughs> all right, I did that twice. Anyway, okay, on page 250. 
And then let's try those practice problems and then see how we do. Pause after you finish the first two. How about that? All right, let's do the first one here. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. The opposite of negative 4 is 4. 3 plus 4, 34. No, no, no. That's 7. All right. Making sure you're paying attention there. Okay. There is one opposite sign here, which means it's an odd, so this number will be negative 5. Okay? And we're going to add the opposite of the opposite of 6. Well, the opposite of negative 6 is just 6, so we're going to add 6 here, right? Okay. Now we have two opposite signs. Now we just take them and we subtract the absolute values. 6 minus 5 is 1. Should this be positive 1 or negative 1? That is farther away from 0 than that. So that's going to be a positive 1. There you go. Okay. Try C and D. Pause it and come on back when you're ready. Okay. Looks tricky, but really not that big of a deal. You're a big deal on these is you take these complicated looking, all these negatives and parentheses and brackets, you break them down one by one, left to right, just like you're doing phonics or something that sound out a word. Do it, approach it the same way with less crying though, if you can't, okay. So let's just go left to right. The opposite of positive six, there's just one connected to that thing, so it's a negative six, right? There's two connected to that one, so it's gonna be a positive eight. That's just a positive seven. There's two connected to that one, the opposite of negative 3 is 3. And adding, there's 1 connected here, so it's going to be a negative 5. So, I mean, you know, that's all we need to do. So let's just get all these positives first. 8 plus 7, 15 plus 3 is 18. And I got a negative 6, and I got a negative 5. That's negative 11. So 18 minus 11, 7. There you go. Okay. Let's try D together. Opposite of negative 3 is 3. The opposite of the opposite of the opposite of negative 4, that's going to be negative 4. There's three of them, an odd number. If you add the opposite of negative 6, that means you're adding 6, okay? And we can, you know, let's just go left to right. What is 3 minus 4? Well, that's two numbers that are opposite signs. Subtract the absolute values. 4 minus 3 is 1. And it'll be negative 1 because this is farther away from 0 than that is. So negative 1 plus 6, same kind of thing, right? Uh, subtract the absolute values. That'll be 5. Positive or negative? Positive, right? Why? Because positive 6 is farther away from 0 than negative 1 is. Since that absolute value is farther away, boom, that's your positive 5. Okay. All right. That should do us for today. See you guys next time. Take care. Have a good day.